Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another painting video. This time it's a portrait of an artist who goes by the name of Kraut Lu. In this part, I'm sketching out what I'm gonna paint. I'm doing this on a separate piece of paper so that I don't smudge pencil all over my canvas. First, I was thinking of even tracing the picture onto a piece of paper, but I know that that is not a good way to learn and I won't be as proud of the end result. So I ended up just struggling for a while, but I did do everything myself, which I am pretty proud of. Now here I'm drawing on the back of the paper so that this way I can trace it onto my canvas. I tape the paper onto my canvas so that it lays still and then I trace over it. This way I get very clean lines and I don't smudge any pencil all over my canvas which may make my paint darker or uglier. Now here I'm writing some lyrics from one of his songs as the background but this doesn't really matter anymore because I end up painting over it anyway. But I guess it was a good practice to, to study my writing skills. Now here, when I'm starting off with the painting part, I first clean my palette. I don't always do this, but I wanted to keep it in so that you can see how satisfying it is to finally take off all the old paint. Now there were a few bits of paint left from the last time I was painting, so I'm not going to remove all of it. Now you can see that my canvas is already a bit tinted. I forgot to film this but I just used a mixture of a few different colors so that it looks a bit brownish and I thinned it out with some paint thinner and uh, just kind of put it everywhere on my canvas. You don't have to do this but since I knew that there was gonna be a lot of white in this picture specifically I use it so that the white shows up more prominent on the tinted canvas. Now, I haven't painted a lot of portraits yet, so this was quite difficult for me, but since this is my first portrait that I did not get any help from anyone, I am pretty happy with the end result. I know that if I keep practicing, it'll get better. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now if you do have any feedback for me on how to improve my realism or my portraits, then please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you do to improve a portrait. So, Also I do apologize for the different lighting in this video because I don't have any bright artificial lighting, so it keeps switching, the sun keeps leaving, so I'm very sorry. I hope I can do something about this in the future, but for now, please bear with me. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye!